Yo guys, RTR here, and it's been a couple weeks since I posted because I've been kind of busy lately, but uh, I just saw that Zach Baxter posted something today, and well, it's, uh, it's a kind of a revenge video for what I did to his farms and stuff on the last LP, I believe, and I just wanted to clear up a couple things that kind of annoyed me. Um, he claims that he flattened my gold farm and my farm, and as you can see, the basic amount of damage that he did was deactivate the portals and blow up some of the corners. I already repaired the other corners. It took me like 10 minutes and I just need to relight the portals here. Um, but the really funny part is he claimed he flattened my gold farm. Or not my gold farm, my farm. But if I come down here, what's this? My farm is still intact. What? And there's this big cobble monster, which means that they have no idea how to hybrid, which means they're kind of a joke. Um, by the way, if anybody wants these cores, I don't even have a base here anymore. Uh, 458, negative 198 chunk coordinates. Go crazy. I don't even use this warp anymore that much. But um, he claims he flattened my farm, and I actually haven't even bothered to fix this yet, because I wanted to show him the actual amount of damage that he did to my farm, because it's kind of funny. And uh, so we'll go down here with his nasty cobble monster, and it would have been 10 times easier for him to just hide and he could have done 10 times the damage. But if we go to all the way down here, and we dig. What's this? Oh, wow, look at all this damage. Oh, wait, no. Look, he just punched a hole in the corner. And uh, all this was unplanted. We never finished this part of the farm, so he didn't do any of this. He just put a hole in the corner. So, yeah, he really flattened our farm. And he just, uh, man, that, that upsets me right there. <laughs> um, rest of the farm's completely intact. I'll do a quick run around. I think sheep's over here. Yeah, sheep's in the call with me. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the farm's intact, save for a couple breaks in the carpet where, like, we've dug through the roof to get up fast. Um, gold farm's up there. You can see that there's only one corner that's still damaged. It took me, like, ten minutes to fix the rest. And, actually, I could just go relight the portals as I'm talking. Um, he also claims that he destroyed every single one of my warps, which isn't true at all. He got into our potion bank with a wither, and he did get into our drop chests which are pretty rich, but he literally got probably about a 20th of the total items that were there, if that. He didn't get, like, anything out of that. If you look in his video, it looks like he's pulling out double chests of diamond armor, and he is, but that's literally, like, nothing compared to what's in the locked chests with the obby over it, because they were tipped off to him coming to wither us. So, that... Um, he also claims that he raided our F home, which is kind of true. He didn't get into the F home in a legit way. Uh, one of our old members went kind of crazy and got kind of stupid. Joey Fly. Uh, kind of? He went, yeah, kind of. <laughs> he went to our F home when Bimo and a bunch of us were online in the Skype call. And he, normally, like, I don't have a problem with him. He's just, he's in the faction, but I kick him because he doesn't play anymore. So, he went there and he had all his weekly kits. He started punching Obimo because he doesn't like her, and uh, Obimo killed her, or killed him as a joke. And he got mad and said he was going to TP people in if he didn't get his weekly kits back. And so he TP people in, I kicked him from team, I blocked him, and everything in the F home was sealed. Like, there was literally probably like two open chests, so nobody got anything out of that at all. Um, we got all the items out of there, and we actually have a new base. So, Zach, if you think you've raided every one of our warps, you've literally gotten probably, I'd say a one hundredth of what we actually still have. And once I finish lighting the bottom floor of these portals, I'll go show the new base, just to prove it. Uh, I just wanted to kind of post this to prove that Zach didn't do jack to any of our warps, except for maybe be slight annoyance, and it doesn't even compare to what we did to him. And that the title, Death of Demonic Faction, is not fitting at all for what he did. So I'm going to finish lighting these portals, and I'll be back in a sec once I get to my new base. Alright guys, so I'm back. Just finished lighting all the portals. It's been like five minutes. Um, so here's the new base. It's at... Well, I'm not even going to say where it's at. But the cordon, or let's just say my buffers go for about 700 blocks in every direction. So have fun cannoning. Um... The walls are going to be 20 thick in a bit. These are uh, just some drop chests from when we first moved here. They're all empty. They're going to be filled with diamond armor here in a bit. Um, all these sword chests are full, and they're starting to overflow into here. I need to get some item frames to label it. 
Uh, but I just wanted to show that Zach really didn't get anything out of our potion bank or our f -home. Nothing came out of the f -home. Like, there were people in there. Nobody got anything, though. So, and then here's some more drop chests, just random stuff. Um, this is our diamond storage. So every chest down here is full. I'll just go through a couple random ones to show this. Um, that was full. Every one of them is full, so I could go, like, let's go here. Full. Full. <laughs> Full, 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 something like 140 double chests down here full of diamond armor, and then there's way more up in the drop room that's on the top floor up there, uh, but yeah, as you can see, these are all full of diamond armor, so, again, Zek didn't get anything, this was all from our F home, we're not organizing by piece anymore just because it takes too much time, we have too much here, so we're just kind of throwing pieces randomly into chests, and I'm getting some lag here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's his base. I know, it's all the item frames. But anyway, this base is four floors tall of, uh, like this, so I think it's like 10, 20... Go to the top 40, part. 40, 50, 60, 70, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100 and f 108, 108 double chests down here, 108 double chests right here. Go to the top, it's the best uh, this part, is dude. Like 140 double chests because it's extended, but this is the item storage, there's like 10 dubs of obby just here. And this is only the like faction obby, this isn't including all private banks. Um, uh, I have ingredients. 6 chests. Yeah, I got like 4 <laughs> I think, so 4 or 5. More potion ingredients, more potion ingredients. This is all food. I just throw away food now because it's not even worth keeping. Uh, faction golden apples. These are just from raids. We keep. I keep mine separately. I have like a double chest in my um, in my private vault, and then in my slash vault, I have a small chest. Uh, four dubs of ender pearls. Those are full too. I'm just not gonna bother opening them. Um, there, that was a lighter chest, but there's nothing left in it. Redstone chests. Redstone block chests. Uh, random minerals. There's small amount of stuff in there, nothing really major. Um, quartz chest, there's quartz in there, I'm not even going to bother. These are mostly full, except for the ones without lamps on them. Uh, yep, just more blocks. This is all stuff out of the bottom of our F home, so our old base, all of it got moved here. Again, nothing came out of the old base. Zach lied in the video saying he raided the F home. He didn't raid anything. He didn't get any items. He didn't get really kind of any profit whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna count these chests, I think it's 70 drop chests, so there's 7 rows and 10 in each row, yeah, 70. Um, and these are full, you see how there's hoppers leading to the bottom, if I go up to the top chests, okay, these two aren't full, but right here are, uh, those are full, these are not full, full, this is just random items, and then one of these sites is a ton of diamond gear, I think it's, is this one? Yeah, it's this one. But um, this goes all the way up and down, and this is all f home stuff. And then a lot of the stuff ended up in my private bank because we had to move it quick and we didn't really have space here right off the bat. So yeah, uh, this is where I'm going to be setting my home once we're done organizing. Just a nice little enchanting area. Stuff to do. Um, more drop chests. More drop chests. So yeah, um, GG Zach. If you're going to lie in your video, at least have something to back it up. Um, this is a claim base. We still have everything. We got everything out of the potion bank. We got everything out of the F home. You took some drop chests out of our potion bank. You cannoned the corner of my farm and you blew up some portals. And the total time it took me to repair those portals, probably about 20 minutes, 15 to repair the block damage, and then 5 to just light the portals. So the total amount of damage you did, I'd say it's comparable to about. 45 minutes of repairs and then moving the stuff out of the potion bank took a couple hours so two hours 45 minutes oh of total God. repair time so if you really think you did anything to us you didn't um if you go back and look at lp16 and you look at the damage we did to you it's a lot more impressive and if you're going to post a video called death to demonic faction have something to back it up thanks for watching make guys. sure we're dead go check out zach baxter's video leave some dislikes on that like this video and i'll see you guys next time